What's up guys? Today I bring you episode 60 of the coolest tech of the month, September 2021. So we have another feature packed epic episode with a massive lineup of Cortec products. We have everything from routers, smartphones, earphones. We've got game consoles, tablets, and lots, lots more. So as usual, everything you're about to see will be linked in the description box with timestamps so you can jump straight to the product that interests you. So without any further ado, let's get this party started. First cool product is the GameSir F8 Pro Snowgon. Now you're looking at a mobile cooling grip. So on the back you've got this cooling fan and on the front you've got this conductive silicon pad. So it's designed to keep your phone cool throughout your gaming session. At the same time it will give you a very nice ergonomic grip. Now you've got a power switch on the back and a USB-C port. So there is no built-in battery so you need to plug in a USB-C cable for power. And as soon as you plug that in, flick the switch and you can see the fan immediately starts spinning and you've also got cool looking RGB lights to go with it. Now this is universally compatible with any phone, be it Android uh, or iOS. So any phone, any platform will work. Here is my iPhone 12 Pro Max. You just need to make sure your phone is no bigger than 173 millimeters. So iPhone 12 Pro Max fits perfectly and you still got that much space left. And it is well padded on both sides, so you're not gonna scratch your phone up. You've also got this detachable joystick, so you can take it off if you don't wanna use it, or you can just fold it backwards. It goes on the screen, and it will give you some enhanced controller comfort. Um, overall, very ergonomic in the hands. Compact, mobile cooling grip, so keep your phone cool. Uh, especially good for you mobile gamers out there for your long uh, gaming session. You could also combine these with the game set triggers. So you can get these game set triggers you can put on the top, slide on the top, um, and then you've got yourself a full controller experience. So always cool, convenient and crazy gadgets coming from the company GameSir. So this is the GameSir F8 Pro Snowgon Mobile Cooling Grip people. So over here we have the Mag Easy Slider by Pitaka. So this is a two-in-one wireless charging station for iPhone 12, but you also have a very useful feature. It's got a removable power bank. So the power bank has a battery capacity of 4,220 milliamp hours. You've got a hook on the back so you can hold it whilst it's attached to your phone. Um, and as soon as you attach it, it stays on magnetically and immediately charges your phone. And you've got this very convenient fingering um, to hold everything in place. So the stand does rotate. So when you put it down, you can rotate it. And also on the back, you've got a wireless charging pad for your AirPods Pro. And on the side, you've got a USB-C port for the power dongle for Apple Watch. So check this out, guys. That's a power dongle. So you just plug it in on the side and now you can charge your Apple Watch. You can also grab a case which supports the magnetic wireless charging. So at the bottom, you can see a USB-C port. That's for the power. Now the power is sufficient to charge the unit and the power bank at the same time, and also all your accessories. So let's drop the phone on. You can see that's 100% charged. So if you've got this uh, piece of plastic, which is magnetic, sticks on the back, and then you've got yourself a stand for your AirPods. Okay, and the final test, if we grab Apple Watch and place it on top, attaches magnetically and there you go, immediately charging. So enough power to charge all three of your Apple devices, so iPhone, Apple Watch and your AirPods all charging at the same time. But not only that, the power bank is also charging at the same time. So the very convenient Mag Easy Slider by Pitaka um, definitely something that I'm going to be using on a regular basis. I love the idea of being able to pick up the power bank and carry on anywhere I like. Take that with me, 4,220 milliamp hours on the go um, when I don't need it. Put it back on the dock and that will charge. The Mag Easy Slider by Pitaka. So next up we have a Wi-Fi 6 gaming router. This is the Netgear Nighthawk Pro XR. 1000. And here is the router. So this is a dedicated 
gaming router featuring Wi-Fi 6. It's built for gaming, built for live streamers. It's ideal for next-gen consoles like PS5, which can take advantage of that Wi-Fi 6 technology, giving you unbelievably smooth and lag-free online gaming experience. So the router itself is made from plastic and you've got this red metal mesh grill on the top and the front. You've got two buttons over here and a whole bunch of LED lights. On the side, you've got these gold threads and that's for your antennas and you can actually connect up four of these antennas. Check that out people. So these high performance antennas will boost your Wi-Fi coverage, but at the same time give you faster speeds and less interference. Now on the back you have a physical power button, power socket, you've got five gigabit ethernet ports, um, including the yellow one which connects directly to your router, and you've got a USB 3 port and a reset hole. Now not only will you get an immersive fast gaming experience, but you also get the very best security features along with Wi-Fi 6 and dual band speeds. Now the router is actually powered by Dummer OS 3.0, which brings a lot of great features like geofencing, ping heat map, connection benchmarks, and lots more. So this router can reduce ping rates by up to 93% for a faster and lag-free online gaming experience. You also have Netgear Armor, which keeps your network and private data safe from all online threats. And everything is easy to manage from the Nighthawk smartphone app. And that's available for both Android and iOS. Now from my own personal experience, the Netgear Nighthawk routers are one of the best gaming router brands you can currently buy. And the XR1000 model is an absolute gaming router beast. If you're into gaming, online streaming or content creation, definitely consider getting a Nighthawk Pro Gaming Router, people. And the next product on our cool list is the Kensington Studio Dock. So here is the Studio Dock. Quickly show you what you get in the box. So you get a whole bunch of power cables. So universally compatible with any country. You've got every single cable you're ever gonna need. You've got every single power cable you're ever gonna need. If I just throw these to the side, this is the only one I need. So that's my UK power cable. And you also have a power supply, which looks like a typical laptop power supply. This is a docking station for the iPad Pro. It supports all iPad Pros from 2018 onwards. This is the 11 inch model, but you can also pick this up in the larger 12.9 inch model. So the main part over here is magnetic and you've got a USB-C port where you would secure your iPad by sliding it downwards until you feel a slight click and then the iPad will be securely in place and then you can use the iPad in vertical or horizontal mode. Um, the, the Apple Pencil can also be docked conveniently and you can see it all works great. So not only does it charge your iPad whilst it's docked, you can also charge your AirPods Pro. So if you just drop it down on there, blue light will turn on and that's charging. You can also charge your iPhone at the same time. And the maximum wireless charging speeds, the AirPods Pro will charge at five watts and the iPhone will charge at 7.5 watts. So not very fast or wireless charging, but nevertheless, it does the job. Onto the side, you can see a physical power button and a USB type C port. And this is a fast charging port for USB C devices. Now the iPad is also connected to a hub on the back. So you've got power socket, HDMI out, you've got four USB 3 ports and an ethernet port. You've also got two Kensington locks on each side. So one standard Kensington and you've got the Kensington Nano lock as well. And on this side, you have a headphone jack and also a full sized SD card slot. So your iPad Pro can be turned into a powerful studio tool as if it wasn't already, but with the studio dock, you can really make use of this device. And I do like how it's easy to undock uh, very simply and the magnetic connection is very reliable. You can also swivel the display on a hinge nearly all the way backwards. So you can achieve some great angles there. So the Kensington Studio Dock people, what an amazing gadget. All right, let's see what's next. So brand new smartphone, you are looking at the Qbot. King Kong 7. So we've got some specs on the back. I'll let you guys read that. All right, so here it is. The Qbot King Kong 7, a rugged smartphone. Um, relatively slim for a rugged smartphone. I believe it's only 14 millimeters in slimness and it weighs 267 grams. Check out that camera bump. 
primary 64 megapixel sensor, triple cameras. You've got this rubberized plastic on the back, metal on the sides. Uh, very, very nicely designed, actually. I do like this. I'm going to put it to the side, see what else we get in the box. So we do have a USB power brick, USB-A to USB-C cable. And as a bonus, you are getting a pair of USB-C headphones. So while it's powering on, let's quickly have a look at the ports. So at the bottom, you've got a latch. And when you open it, you will see a USB-C port and a single microphone. On the side, you've got a single button, fingerprint sensor and a power button. So we'll see what that button does in a bit. At the top, you've got nothing. And on the side, you've got SIM tray and volume rocker. So here's a SIM tray. If we take it out, you will see it's a triple hybrid SIM tray. So two nano SIM cards and one micro SD card, people. So here we are all powered up and ready to go. The smartphone has a 6.36 inch full HD display. That's 2300 by 1080. You can see the hole punch camera in the top left hand corner. That is a 32 megapixel front camera. You do have uh, quite large bezels going all the way around. And that is quite expected and common when it comes to rugged smartphones. Now this smartphone is powered by the MediaTek Helio P60, which is an octa-core. You've got eight gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. You've got triple cameras on the back, so 64 megapixel primary. You've got a 16 megapixel wide and a five megapixel macro with a 32 megapixel front camera. This does have a triple satellite GPS. It's IP68 plus IP69K waterproof. It's also shockproof, weatherproof, dustproof. It's a proper rugged smartphone and they're calling it the King Kong 7 for a reason. So it's all about that military standard durability. You've got a massive 5,000 milliamp hour battery in this phone, which is quite incredible. And you've got NFC, 4G, Bluetooth 4.2. And this is running a quite stock-like experience of Android 11. So the new rugged smartphone in town, the King Kong 7 people, do check this one out. So next product, a bit big to slide across the table. So we're just gonna flip it downwards. So this is the brand new Pandora 28S Pro arcade console. So this is the latest retro gaming console by Pandora Box. It's the 28S Pro and a very different design totally. So wait till you see me open this case. One latch, open it up. Check it out, people. I am not joking here. This is incredible. I'm going to do that again just to show you. Check it out, people. This is a portable arcade console with a 14 inch IPS display. That's a 720p display. There we go. What a beauty. So over here you've got power socket, HDMI ports in case you wanted to play on the bigger screen. You've got a VGA port as well, audio jack. You've got a settings button and two USB ports. So you can connect your own controller via the USB port. Okay, so here's your main power switch. You turn that on and the screen will start booting up. So nice little intro screen with a bit of retro music. LED lights can be switched on or off as required. Now, quick look at the controls. You've got your regular arcade controls there, a nice uh, arcade stick, and you've got your start, select, and pause buttons at the top. Slight buzzing sound you can hear, and that is actually the fan. There is an internal fan inside which is spinning, and that is what you can hear. Now, we've actually got 380 games built in, and you've got a good mix there from various different retro consoles from N64, SNES, NES, GBA. You've got Mega Drive, MAME, Arcade and so much more. So I just had a quick look at the manual and you can add your own games. And as you can see, it supports MAME, FBA, FC, SFC, PCE, GBA, GBC, MD, PSP, PS and N64. And it shows you exactly how to do it. Um, I guess it's, I think it's a simple case of drag and drop, but all the instructions are there in English. So you simply can't go wrong. I'm going to play a game or two just to show you what to expect. We're going to begin with Tekken 3. So let's check out some gameplay.
so there you have it guys that was the pandora 28s pro a foldable arcade console that you can take with you anywhere you like so next up we have a pair of true wireless stereo earphones by edifier so these are the tws nb2 pro so we've got this cardboard box which has got this uh, textured finish which almost looks like leather so very clever packaging let's get it open wow look at that nicely presented we have a fabric carrying pouch type c to type a cable some spare ear tips of different sizes and your paperwork let's check out the case wow so same type of textured finish on the top but this case is made from plastic and you've got the edifier logo there finished in chrome looks actually very nice on the back you've got a usb-c port on the bottom nothing open them up and you'll be presented with the nb2 pros wow metal finish feels quite nice you've got an led indicator in the middle and they're marked right and left these feature hybrid anc you've got 10 millimeter drivers they'll give you a 32 hour total battery life that's including the case uh, they do support fast charging so 15 minute charge equals two hours of non-stop music you have advanced touch control so the touch control on the right earbud will control your music so play pause skip etc and the left earbud will allow you to change between some built-in sound presets which are anc and anc off you also have ambient sound spatial audio game mode and normal mode now these are ip54 dust and water resistant You've got built-in dual microphones. You've got in-ear detection. So when you put them in your ear, uh, the music will play. And when you take them out of your ear, the music will immediately stop. And there is also a smartphone app where you can play around with the settings. So I'm getting a very premium vibe from these, even though the price um, is actually quite affordable. So the Edifier NB2 Pro True Wireless Stereo Earbuds, people. Yeah, definitely check these ones out. So this is the Tribit Stormbox Pro. So after quite a while, I am featuring a speaker on the channel, um, and this one is very different. It's the Stormbox Pro. It's a portable Bluetooth speaker. It does support Bluetooth version five. The speaker itself is made from plastic, and you've got this fabric mesh going all the way around. There is a latch on the back, and if I get that latch open, You'll be able to see the connections. You've got a full-size USB port so you can charge your phones, etc. And you've got a USB Type-C so you can charge the actual speaker. Now this speaker has a massive 10,000 milliamp hour battery. That's 24 hours of non-stop music and plenty of juice to charge your phone up as well. Now on the top, you've got your buttons. So you've got play pause in the middle and volume control. You've got the X bass button, power button, and a Bluetooth pairing button. So if we keep the power button pressed, you can see what happens and it's giving you a battery indicator as well well this speaker consists of a three inch subwoofer and you've got two 40 millimeter mid to high frequency drivers and also two passive radiators so it's designed to give you a full range 2.1 sound with enhanced x base technology which you can turn on and off now it is ip67 waterproof so you can actually submerge this in one meter of water for up to 30 minutes. Not sure why you'd want to do that, but just in case it's uh, protected. Features Bluetooth version five and APTX. You've got a Qualcomm QCC chip, giving you ultra low latency. And you can also grab two of these and pair them up with each other to give you that powerful wireless stereo sound. Now, without further ado. <laughs> If I had to describe the sound, the bass is decent um, on a scale of one to five. I would say it's 3.5 out of five for the bass. Um, and here's the thing, when you press the X bass button, it only gives you a slight boost to that bass. Um, nothing drastic, it's not gonna start shaking the table. So there's not a huge difference between X bass on and X bass off. A decent enough sound quality. Uh, doesn't live up to the name Stormbox Pro. The Stormbox Pro, I was expecting the table to do something like that, but 
but nevertheless for the price it's giving you a good quality sound um, it's loud it's clear it doesn't distort and i did test a whole range of different genre music um, and they all sounded pretty top notch on this speaker so qualcomm chip aptx bluetooth version 5 stormbox pro people by tribit all right we got a tablet to check out this is the techlast m40 pro so we've got a silicon case included um, with a smart cover on the front wow first thing i want to say is how light and slim this is look at that people that is very slim um, i thought it's going to be metal build but it's actually plastic um, yeah complete plastic body and you've got the tech glass logo on the back rear camera i believe that is a 8 megapixel rear camera doesn't seem to be any led flash screen protector already applied i'm gonna just pull this off so while this is doing its thing let's check out the ports so on the side we have a power button and volume rocker the buttons are made from plastic and the power button has some texture on it you have a microphone on the side and also a usb type c port at the top we've got headphone jack sim card tray and a set of speakers so we've got two speakers on the top i want to show you this is actually a hybrid sim tray so it will take two 4g nano sim cards and also one micro sd card so you can expand the storage all right if we keep going there's nothing on this side and at the bottom we've got two more speakers so that's a total of four speakers people two at the top two at the bottom um, already like the sound of that on the front we have another camera and that is a five megapixel camera so here is the home screen for the tablet quickly see how it looks in the case it's a silicon case easy to apply and smart cover on the front you've got all the cutouts where they should be and this case will allow you to prop it up as well so you've got a magnetic connection so not sure if this case comes with it but if it doesn't i will also link the case in the description we do need to check out what charger you're getting in the box we've got a usb-c to usb-a cable on that side and here is your usb power brick and you can see the voltage 5 volts 2.5 amps so it's not a fast charger as such and if you're wondering this tablet has a 7000 milliamp hour battery doesn't support fast charging so you are looking at a 10.1 inch ips display You've got the Unisoc T618 octa-core CPU, right? We've got six gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. This is giving you a stock Android 11 experience with the Google Play Store so you can install all your favorite games and apps. And the Mali G52 means you can play games like Call of Duty with no issues at all. And not only is this a full Android 11 tablet, if you install your SIM cards and it supports dual 4G SIMs, you can have data on the go and this also takes phone calls so it turns into a full featured smartphone as well. So Techlast M40 Pro and um, screen quality 10.1 inch IPS is not bad for the money. So do check out the Techlast M40 Pro people. Let's see what's next. Next up, we are looking at the Spigen Arcfield Apple Watch charger. So this is a USB-C powered Apple Watch charger. It's MFI certified and it's compatible with more or less all versions and sizes of the Apple Watch. So here's my Apple Watch, plug that into there. And then you can plug this into any USB-C source, um, ideally a laptop or a MacBook, and that will immediately start charging. So very convenient Apple Watch wireless charger. And the best part is it's affordable and MFI Apple certified. All right, so theme of the day has been gaming by the looks of it. And next product is no different. This is the PB Tails Choc, a new era of gaming controller. Look at that retro looking case, zip up hard case, really nice. Open it up and there is the game controller. Look at the size of this thing, people. You get a USB-C to USB-A cable. This is a real innovative and fun designed controller. It's available in many different colors. I picked the silver and black. It would have been nice to have a silver and black case as well. I'm not too sure about the neon green. Uh, not hating it, but I'm just saying if it looked a bit more uh, like the theme of this controller. Now there's a real retro feel about this controller. Yet it has all your modern controls and latest features, which include six axis motion control, You've got dual vibration motors, you've got turbo options, and it connects via Bluetooth version 5. So quick look at the controls, you've got D-pad, dual joysticks, 
including L3 and R3 buttons. You've got X, A, B, Y. You've got a plus and minus button, home button, a button which says T and a button with a settings cog on it. On the top, you've got right, left, and then you've got R2 and L2 as well. It's a very slim controller. It tries to be ergonomic. I'm not sure how I feel about this yet because you actually have to game on this for a while before you can give a real opinion. But first impressions, it's fitting the contour of my hand. The sharp bit on that side is, is not being touched by me at all. So that's not uncomfortable because I'm not touching that part. So unless you hold a controller like that, which is unnatural. So holding it naturally, it feels good. It feels ergonomic. It's a bit hard though. So there's no rubberized plastic on the back like you get in some modern day controllers. And um, just to compare, I will bring in the PlayStation 4 controller so you can just see the scale of both. You can see what's going on. Yeah, definitely not as comfortable as the PlayStation 4 controller, but this is something different that needs to be tested. Now it is compatible with a wide range of systems and consoles. So it works on PC laptops, it works on smart TVs. This is ideal for Nintendo Switch, including the Switch Lite and the new Switch OLED, which is coming soon. You can also use this on Raspberry Pi and lots more. Battery life is around 16 hours of non-stop gaming. Um, takes around two hours to fully charge the battery. And you do have a USB Type-C port on the top with a pairing button next to it. And at the bottom, you've got your pairing light indicators. So that was the PB Tails Choc gaming controller. This is the Lacey Doll Ultrasonic Humidifier. You've got a space saving design because it's just a cylinder shape. It takes up less space um, no matter where you put it. It can humidify a large room up to 500 square feet. Um, it's got an eight litre water tank. You've got an LCD digital display on the front. And the beauty of it is you can fill water up directly from the top without removing the cap. So you just fill in water right here, pour the water on top and it will fill it. It will fill the tank up. Um, eight litre capacity. You got a very funky LCD display on the front. Now this can auto detect the humidity in your room and it can switch itself on or off. Um, it's got presets to set humidity from 40% to 90%. So you can set your own optimal indoor humidity level. You have sleep and auto shut off and lots more. There is also a small remote control, meaning you can control this at a distance. You don't even have to get up from your chair. It's quite an operation and you can see all the humidity levels in real time on the large LCD display. It's amazing. So it detected the humidity in my room automatically, shows it on the front, and then you've got this mist coming out from the top, which almost looks like smoke, but that is mist. And that will give you some moisture in your room. So I know some people need a dehumidifier to get rid of that moisture, but there are some rooms out there that need a, a humidifier to increase the moisture where the air is really dry. So this will help. And I'm loving that mist. That mist looks amazing. You can hear it's very silent in operation as it is. So that was the ultrasonic humidifier, people. Awesome stuff. All right, so this one's for all you vloggers out there. The Sabin Tech Smart Mic Plus. So this is one of the smallest true stereo wireless microphones you can currently buy. It's only 15 grams and look how tiny that is. So you've got a micro USB port at the bottom, a simple clip so you can attach the microphone to your clothes. You've got a red button on the side so you can start recording. Um, you've got a whole bunch of accessories as well that comes with it. So you've got a few wind guards, you've got the charger cable and you've got a single earpiece that you can wear in your ear. Now this is a Bluetooth microphone. It supports Bluetooth version five and it's got a 15 meter transmission distance, which is incredible. The mic is compatible with DSLRs, smartphones, laptops, and lots, lots more. You've got 110 milliamp hour battery built in, which will give you around five to six hours of battery life. So ideal for vloggers, there is no wires, no hassles, features a unidirectional microphone for crystal clear CD quality sound. You can record and mix multi-channel audio. You've got real-time stereo monitoring and multi-level noise reduction. There is also a smartphone app called Smart Mic Plus, where you can manage and tweak many settings with wide versatility for vlogging, live streams, content creation, and lots more. So we are now recording with a Smart Mic 
and this is what you can expect in terms of audio quality this is the Sabintech Smart Mic Plus connected to my smartphone so you can see I'm recording just audio and we're going to hear how this sounds right now so an incredible award-winning wireless microphone but there is also another product this is the unidirectional vloggers mic plug it straight into your smartphone and it's basically a plug-and-play microphone for high quality sound so the incredible Sabin Tech Smart Mic Plus people so next up on my cool list we have two handheld stick vacuum cleaners so let's check both of these out we're going to begin with the Pretty Care V100 so this is everything we get in the box you've got your user manual and quick start guide you've got some mounts and screws removable battery so you have a 2600 milliamp hour battery which promises around 35 minutes of non-stop vacuum cleaning now let's check out some of these parts let's put a few things together so we've got this extension pole which simply clicks into place and then on the end of that you can have a roller if you want it's a regular vacuum roller uh, yep yeah, looks good to me you got a brush I'm gonna take off this extension for now whoa it extends so this extension you press this button I was trying to take it off but it actually extends as well so that's very convenient right now back to taking it off again here we go we're taking the extension off it's gonna attach the brush because there's a few things I'm going to try cleaning in this room and I don't want to scratch it up like monitors and glass stand so we've got a nice brush there the vacuum cleaner has a has a compartment there for the battery so you're simply slotting this in oh that felt good that did feel good you got a button here to release the battery yeah, and you got your power buttons on the back so that is pretty much it you're ready to go now you've got 20,000 PA of suction power so there's the dust container easy access just press the button and the lid opens empty out the dust that's a 1.2 liter dust capacity now there is a HEPA filter already installed within this container and I want to show you it so you twist to take off there you go so that is a washable HEPA filter right let's lock this into place there is a lock symbol there so you know to open and close it's quite simple to do it takes around four to five hours to fully charge that battery but it will give you 35 minutes of running time now you can charge from here so plug the charger in or you can actually remove the battery and charge at your own convenience so there's a power socket there plug the charger in okay and that is now charging so there's no LED power indicator as such telling you how much charge is left but definitely a convenient way to charge up this battery so that was the pretty care w100 powerful vacuum cleaner it comes with a whole bunch of tools great for your home or even your car and plenty of power to undertake most tasks and a pretty decent 1.2 liter dust capacity nice and easy to use and won't even break the bank so very affordable as well so dyson move aside this is the pretty care w100 now that's not all folks we have the Autobox VX cordless vacuum cleaner. So here is another one. This is very compact. If I get the box open, I'll show you exactly what I mean. That is it, people. This one will give you 16,000 PA of suction power. It is a bagless vacuum cleaner and the dust capacity is on the smaller side. It's only a hundred ml dust capacity, but again, the filter can be changed and removed. Now this vacuum cleaner has a built in 2000 milliamp hour battery, which will give you around 20 minutes uh, of runtime. And I just want to quickly show you how this differs to the previous version, because I have the previous version on my desk and here it is. Look at the size of the previous version compared to the new version. And the new version is slightly smaller and the dust box is clear so you can see how much dust is in there whereas the old one you can't see when it's full so i'm liking the new design it's small smaller it's compact in size and it's got the same power and performance so you've got your attachment there for a brush and if you slide this in you've got a regular vacuum attachment so quite a minimalistic design um, i use this mainly to keep my desk tidy so i use this so i use so I use my auto box really to keep my desk tidy because the glass shelf, which I'm about to show you, constantly collects dust, as you can see. So we have an empty unit, plenty of dust to collect, 
Let me show you how this works. So you've got two power modes, one and two. Watch this. Spick and span, look at that, look how clean that is. Now I could have got a wet cloth and wiped it and it would have got all smudgy. I could have got a dry cloth and that would still smudge the dust. Look at that finish, exactly what I need for my desk. It also works great with keyboards and it doesn't scratch anything up. Now over here, I'll show you. There is a little bit of dust there collected, you can see. So that's why I use it mainly for my desk as you don't have that much dust, but it's enough to take off. You can even use it on your monitor. So a very handy stick vacuum cleaner. This is the Autobox VX cordless vacuum cleaner, people. And the first time I saw this box, I really thought it said super safe, first impression, uh, but it's no, it says super safe. This is a very useful product for most of you out there. It's the Top Don Volcano Jump Starter 2000, people. This is the next generation of car jump starters. And I have a few jump starters and I have one that I use on a regular basis, but this one looks like it's gonna take over as my daily driver. Check it out, people. 20,800 milliamp hours of battery capacity. And you have a peak current of 2000 amps. So that is super powerful, people. You can jump start a petrol engine up to 10 liters and diesel engines up to eight liters. You even have a 10 watt wireless charger on top. So you can wirelessly charge your phone uh, should you need to. Um, there is a whole bunch of ports, which I'm gonna show you. So if I show you this side, first of all, You've got DC jack and USB type C port. And on the other side, you have full size USB and USB three port. So you can fast charge your smartphone and accessories. This does support quick charge three fast charging. There is an LCD display on the front and I'll quickly show you that. And it shows you the battery level, 65% left. There is an LED light as well. So if you keep the power button pressed, it will switch on the LED light and that's a powerful light. And you have various different modes so you can have it uh, flashing and you can have it on emergency or SOS mode or you can turn it off over here at the front you've got your engine you've got your engine connection and that is important I'll show you that so here are your copper clamps oh you've got a carry case as well handy nice USB A to USB C cable included and this is important if you want to start your car you need a quality pair of copper clamps look at that solid really nice quality actually and you just simply plug this at the front of the unit so this would connect at the front remove that latch plug it to the front then you just connect these plus and minus onto your car battery and just hit the power button and that will give you enough power to jump start a dead battery even if your battery is totally dead this will get you started people so no more pushing cars around no more asking other people to give you a jump start this mf will do it for you. Look at the name, Top Don Volcano 2000. Now, there is no doubt this Top Don is gonna be in my car as my daily driver, people. Awesome price, awesome product. There you have it, guys. That was the end of episode 60. And I did warn you early on, it's going to be an epic episode with plenty of impressive Cortec products. A few stood out for me personally, namely the Pandora Box Arcade, the Studio Dock, Autobox Vacuum, and GameSir's mobile cooling fan, and of course, the Nighthawk gaming router. Now, do let me know in the comments which products were your favorites from the bunch. Meanwhile, I'll see you all again next month with another episode showcasing some of the coolest tech that I set my eyes on. Now, all the links will also be provided in the description box as usual. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.